So this question asked us to use the divergence theorem to calculate the flux of this given vector field F through a given surface M in Newton meters squared. And we're going to use the default outward pointing orientation. So let's recall exactly what the divergence theorem says. Well, I want to calculate the flux of a vector field over some surface, you know, like the outside of this cube. But if I'm looking at a closed surface, you know, kind of like a sphere or a cube, you know, kind of all closed in, instead of calculating a flux integral, I can find the divergence of the vector field and integrate that over the volume of m, wherever I'm trying to calculate the flux through. And that can make it a lot easier. So let's go and find the divergence of f. That is the partial derivative with respect to x of the i component plus the partial derivative with respect to y of the j component, plus the partial derivative with respect to z of the k component. So here I've just got 1 plus 1 plus 1. Which is going to give me 3. Now I just want to integrate that over m. And let's take a look at the description I'm given for M. So M is a cube centered at the origin of psi length 2. So X, Y, and Z all go from negative 1 to 1, right? So I have vertices here, and this is kind of a rough drawing of what that cube looks like. So I can integrate, you know, over X, Y, and Z. But since the divergence is just constant, I can pull that 3 out. And I'm integrating with respect to volume. So I can say that this component right here is just going to be the volume of m. And since I have a formula for the volume of a cube, I don't actually need to calculate any integration here. So the volume of a cube is side cubed, and here I'm given that my side length is 2, so I've got 3 times 2 cubed. Which gives me 24 newton meters squared. So that's the flux of this vector field F through our cube M.